Hello, I'm here with Team A39A and they're a very awesome robot. I got to see them at some of their signature events and I can say that there are a lot of interesting mechanisms going to their robot, like a conveyor mechanism and a backpack mechanism. And in this video of EDP with A39A, we're going to discuss some of those mechanisms. First of all, I'd like to congratulate your team on your recent signature event and coming second overall and also winning the Create and Build Awards. The first thing we're going to discuss is your unique pin claw mechanism and your conveyor mechanism. Why would you choose a conveyor mechanism over a standard arm loop? So we, we, so we decided to use this design because it goes up linear so we can stack pins a lot easier than using a 180 mech design. And another uh, benefit of this is that we can put pins into the back to store in, into the backpack, which we'll talk about later. As you can see, like right here. Uh -huh. And then one more thing is that uh, this this claw, because it has a conveyor, it has the capability to lift the stack up to the standoff goal and to put a double stack on there and get 10 extra points, which most teams can't do. I've noticed in your matches that your robot drives considerably fast even though it has a very large body compared to other robots. Um, how do you achieve this? Yeah, so the main way that we're able to achieve this is that we have our four motor drive chain. Um, so basically, um, if we have a four motor drive train, oh, but we only have two motors left for our like arm and our um, back lift. But um, so that's why we have our PTO system. But basically, what we do since um, our back cascade lift only needs to be used once or twice during a match, but we have a piston um, that can ch that can change this gear to our drive train, so that oh, when we're not using our cascade lift, we can use those two extra motors to our drive train allowing us to have a much faster and more torqued drive train. I also noticed that your team is using a cascade lift for the beam instead of a standard four bar. Why did you do this? Yeah, so the main reason why we use the cascade instead of a four bar is because it can raise up much higher. Because since we're stacking two pins on top of the, um, the middle standoff, um, we have to raise the beam much higher in, our, in order to stack the beam on top. So basically, um, oh, we found that um, if we had to use um, some kind of four bar mechanism, um, the four bar would be much larger and take up much more space. However, this cascade is a lot more compact and can be um, scalable as well. So this is uh, um, basically how our cascade works, is we have um, some, um, like a pulley and our cascade uh, uses two um, separate pulleys inside. So that here, or when we lift it up, um, they will all go up at the same time. We did this because it would raise up much faster, um, and we can also raise it up much higher. Okay, so now let's talk about your unique backpack mechanism and how it affects game strategy. Yeah, so we got this idea when we first found uh, our V1 robot had a major issue where it was very time consuming and inefficient because it kept, it kept having to go back to the load station for the pins and that's how we got this design, the backpack. So the backpack um, is able to hold four pin, four extra pins which and the claw can hold also four pins which clears the whole load station which is uh, less time consuming and it's faster. Yeah, so how our, our backpack works um, is each of these backpack sides um, have two pistons. Um, our, our whole backpack system um, does not use any motors and only use pistons. So the first piston just brings this arm up and down here, um, and the second piston um, um, can actually um, release the pin. So here you can hold it, and then once this piston retracts, then the pins can go into the beam, which is holding by this back claw. So now let's talk about how you use code and sensors to optimize your robot. So we use a very specific function that so we added when we noticed that during the 35 to 45 second period, the driver had way too many things to focus on and was making a lot of mistakes. So then we added this function or automation to help the driver with three things. First, it would grab, it would grab the beam, then it would dump the backpack and pins onto the beam, and then it would raise the beam to stand up full height. Yeah, so here we can do um, a demonstration. So when we click this one button, 
will do all the code automatically and you can um, easily focus on other um, more important tasks. Um, we also use um, some sensors on our robot as well. Um, we have this distance sensor so that we can track um, the exact height of our cascade lift. So if one is stacked on top of two pins or on top of one pin, um, th then we can easily track um, to find the correct distance for our cascade to raise. After seeing your robot in the last two events, what kind of changes or iterations are you planning to make? Yeah, so there are a couple of iterations that we want to make um, for this robot. Um, the first of which being to change the drivetrain's gear ratio, because what we found that um, is that when we have four motor drivetrain, um, the drive can drive really fast. Um, but then once we move the PTO to the cascade, and oh, we only have two motors that dedicated to our drivetrain, um, and those two motors did not have enough torque. So we want to um, optimize um, the gear ratio for our drivetrain, um, which can help improve efficiency in our match routes. Another thing that we want to optimize on our robot um, is our backpack. So basically one issue with this is that, um, is that these pins that go into the beam, um, these take um, such a long time because of this um, large distance. So what we're aiming to do is to, is to tune this um, conveyor arm much better um, so that this does not have to raise quite as high and that this, um, this motion does not need to be quite as much so that it can be much faster and more optimized. This is a really cool robot guys. Thanks for showing us your robot ideas and I wish you luck for the rest of the season.